European stock markets have kicked off the first month of June on a weaker tone with the UK's FTSE 100 index off around about 52 points, while the Euro stock's 50 index is lower by around about 19 points. In the currency space, the Euro is gaining a little bit of ground against the dollar, uh, but the dollar is weaker on the whole, and in the peripheral bond market space, both Italian and Spanish bond yields are slightly wider, but nothing to be worried about. US stock futures, however, are pointing to a firmer open with the Dow. Uh, front month futures up about 26 points and the S&P 500 uh, front month futures contract up about a point. Good morning, I'm Mishak Siddiqui and welcome to another Daily Market Bite. I'm going to give you a quick idea of what's going on in financial markets today. So over the weekend we had the official Chinese PMI number, uh, which was uh, actually a, a little better than expected. Uh, there were fears going into uh, uh, the weekend on Friday, um, talked to, talk to uh, rumors uh, around the market that um, we may get a, a weaker number, however, that wasn't the case. Uh, but we did have the, the HSBC official PMI manufacturing number out overnight, uh, and that did indicate a weak uh, manufacturing um, activity for um, China. It did contract uh, below the 50 mark. 50 uh, is uh, the line of uh, expansion and contraction. Above 50 would signal expansion, below 50 contraction. Uh, so the number suggested uh, that the uh, Chinese economy is stalling, um, and that's been the same case for the Australian economy uh, with a knock-on effect there uh, and we also had a pretty poor number out of India uh, where it just uh, uh, it eked out um, uh, some growth but uh, on the whole India's um, economy is also feeling the heat now. Um, so global growth uh, uh, slowdown fears are hitting the markets this morning. At the same time we had a late session um, sell-off on Wall Street on Friday uh, on the back of some strong US data points. Uh, the Michigan confidence number was much better than expected and so was Chicago PMIs uh, and that um, suggested to investors that the uh, Federal Reserve may look to prematurely uh, withdraw from uh, quantitative easing, uh, something that's been uh, keeping the markets extremely sensitive uh, over the past few weeks and will do uh, for the coming months until the Federal Reserve make a decision on what they want to do with quantitative easing. Um, now in today's session uh, we've had Eurozone PMI manufacturing numbers which are actually a bit better than expected, um, showed um, a decent pickup in uh, German and French uh, manufacturing and uh, surprisingly also for Italy and Spain, the two uh, peripheral nations that have been under extreme amount of pressure for the last six months. Um, especially given the fact that austerity measures out there are biting the countries quite hard. <coughs> so um, that um, uh, provided uh, the euro with uh, some support. Uh, however, that hasn't been the case for stock investors as uh, stock markets are pretty much fixated on uh, US uh, Federal Reserve tapering, when it's going to happen and how it's going to happen. Um, now, in the UK, we also had a pretty strong PMI man manufacturing number um, above the 50 mark. Um, shows that the, uh, the second quarter did start off well for the UK economy. Um, but there's still a lot of worries about uh, UK economic growth. Uh, the Bank of England will be announcing their policy uh, decision on uh, Thursday, but uh, are expected to sit on their hands uh, until Mark Carney, the, uh, the new governor, uh, takes the helm in July. Um, we also have an ECB decision on uh, Thursday. Uh, ECB is expected to stay on um, on, on their policies, not change, uh, keeping um, uh, the, uh, their um, as well their IMT program, which uh, Mario Draghi has been talking up uh, overnight, and um, keeping that at, at where it is, and also keeping interest rates at all-time lows, um, and possibly hinting at further interest rate downgrades, um, given the fact that the eurozone uh, economic situation is still rather. Um, now, going into the rest of the session, we have um, the US ISM manufacturing number. Uh, investors are actually focusing on that more so than the Eurozone data, as that should give us uh, further clues as to what the Federal Reserve is going to do. Uh, again, if we see a poor number, um, it's likely to suggest uh, that the Fed are going to keep an accommodative stance on QE and not tape anytime soon. Uh, but if we do see a strong number, um, we may get those worries back in the market that uh, the Federal Reserve now has a bolder case.
pace to withdraw from quantitative easing uh, in the coming months. Um, and um, other than that, there's not much else going on. Uh, corporate activity is pretty much low on the ground. And when it comes to the rest of the week, uh, we've got a heavy uh, week for economic data. We have the US ADP number on Wednesday. Uh, we also have Eurozone PMI services uh, data. We have Eurozone first quarter GDP uh, coming out on Wednesday uh, and Euro Eurozone retail sales. And at the same time, the big number that we have uh, will be on Friday, the non-farm payrolls, uh, where, in which uh, most of uh, the market's uh, focus will be directed to as we head through the course, as we uh, progress through the course of the week. Uh, that's all for your daily market bite. Tune in for another one tomorrow. Cheers.